Hey everybody, Joseph Porcelli from Next Door here, and I'm joined by Sergeant Mike Pavelli with the Marine County Sheriff's Office. Great, thanks so much for taking a couple of minutes to speak with me. So you were telling me how you guys are using Next Door. It's awesome. Tell everybody else. Yes, Next Door is a great platform to use for us. Um, we we use it all the time uh, to engage with our community. Um, we've recently incorporated that into our field training program. Wow. Meaning prior to people going out to patrol, yeah. right? We have a we have an orientation week and once they're on the program as well, we make sure that they have a next door account so they can engage with the community as well. So you're not just using next door from like the public information office. You have users who are patrolling in specific areas you call it beats, is that what you call them where you are? Beats, yes. And then they have access to next door and they communicate with their members. Correct. So everybody has the goal is for everybody to have store account. Mm. So, for example, if there's a rash of burglaries in an area, that particular deputy can post out to that particular area about what's going on in the community. Mm. And then the, the citizens respond, yeah. right? And then we have that constant engagement with them. Then the citizens must really appreciate that, too, because you're, they're, they're, they're being told what's happening, hey, heads up. Mm -hmm. And then are you guys encouraging people to take actions or, like, what they can do to reduce crime in their neighborhoods? Like, you can help stop this by mm -hmm. doing any of that. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of that. You know, we do what's called like a 9 p.m. routine too. As we, you know, we will post it out, post it on our platforms as well. Meaning, you know, uh, like around 9 p.m., lock your doors, lock your windows, and and we throw that out, out on next door as well, as, as well as our other platforms, our Facebook and everything. But next door for everybody, just because we have a social media team, yeah, that's really responsible for Twitter and Mixel and, and, and Facebook. But next door. As an organization, you know, we try to get everybody as a user so we can engage with the community. So it sounds like you've you've you've, you've ingrained Nextdoor into your operation. Mm -hmm. It's not like a social media tool. It's how you police. Is that an accurate it, statement? It's how it's, it's how we police. You know, it, it's more about community policing, mm -hmm. obviously, and the community I know really appreciates it. You know, because we're actively engaging with them. Yeah. You know, we're telling them certain you know trends, crime trends that are happening in their particular area. You know, and the best part about it, like I said, is, you know, we, we try and encourage every one of our employees, mm -hmm. deputies, to have an actual account so they can engage in their particular area. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Are there lessons you've learned that other people should know if they're not already using Nextdoor, if you're already using Nextdoor, that it's helped you be successful on the platform? At, at first, when, when we started using Nextdoor, right, we didn't use it as, as much as we should have. So it's so the thing We're that dipping your toe. The, yeah, the, the the thing that I would tell everybody now, um, if you don't have next door and you do have it and you do currently have it, is use it as much as you can because <laughs> because you know engaging with the community is, is just so important and that's what we found. Mm -hmm. You know, and it doesn't matter who you know who who posts through next door, whether it's a deputy, a sergeant, a lieutenant, captain, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, everybody has access to their particular area. Yeah. You know, and, and, and the crime trend. So, I mean, it, 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 it's helped us engage in the community. You know, it's interesting. Well. When I think about, like, um, what are the business outcomes, right? Like, when I first started working at Nextdoor and back when I was at Boston PD, I'm like, I want to deter crime and reduce fear. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's actually something beyond that. I think it's about creating trust and building relationships and increasing, like, resident satisfaction with your service, right? Mm -hmm. You're right. If you're regularly communicating... Those officers, not everybody's going to community meetings anymore, right? And so next door, you can reach the people who aren't paying attention or aren't going to community meetings. Mm -hmm. They know their local officer. Mm -hmm. And because you're communicating the way you guys are, they're like, it's great. We're actually being involved and engaged. And yes. you have all these people who are not just your eyes and ears, but now they're your partners. And we still do we still do community meetings, obviously, because I think that's, that's important, obviously. The meeting face-to-face face is great. And, and that's the most important, right? But next door gives us that tool to let everybody know you know, hey, listen, we're going to have a community here at this particular time. Yeah. And those who can't make it, you know, at least they'll know what was said, yeah. you know, during that community meeting. You can post a recap. We, we can post a recap. Them. And if it's, you know, it's not towards the entire county, because we have right. a pretty big county, but it's... You care it's, what's it's, happening in your area. In your particular area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whether it's, you know, 2,000 people or whatever, and, um, you know, we can just reach them immediately. So I know they appreciate it. That's awesome. Thanks yeah. for your time, Sergeant. Absolutely. All right. Catch you guys soon.